How do you design one of the most advanced ERs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room. It's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. Everyone to the SAC Holiday Tournament. Game number two between the number nine seed Bishop Dwinger Saints and number eight seed Southside Archers. My name is Jeff Mahoney, bringing you today's play-by-play. -play. On the camera is Carrington Thompson. Today's game is brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine. This is SummitCitySports.com. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest and highlights and broadcasts. Off the tip, possession will go with Southside. That was number 30, Dion Palmer. In the middle for the Archers, number 54 is David O'Daniel for Bishop Dwanger. Nice put back there by number 30, Dion Palmer, who gets the first two points of the game for Southside when the game in general were 20 seconds in. Bringing it up for the Saints was number 14, Donovan Campbell. Feed goes down to number 10 off the glass, Sam Royal. Royal who leads the Saints in scoring. After two games, he was averaging 17.5 points per game. Ball moving around the perimeter. Looks like the Saints are in a 2-3 zone to start this game. Driving from the wing was number one, Corey Joyner for Southside. He's gonna pick up a foul called with the charge. That's his first and the team's first. With the inbounds pass, it's number 20, Conlon Martin for the Saints. Man-to-man -man defense here by Southside. That's Mark Kalen Harrison with the tight defense. All alone there beyond the arc is number 20 for the Saints. Beautiful look at feed down low. Royal has quick four points. Dwanger takes the lead, four to two here. One minute and 10 seconds into this game. Trajan Didier on the far wing. Once again, the Saints here in the zone defense to start this one. Didier for three, and he drains it. That is Trey Jean Didier. He's averaging around 17 points a game as well. One of the top scorers in the area. Of course, Southside is playing without their leading scorer. That was the interception there by number 10 for Southside, KJ King and a turnover by the Archers. The Southside is playing without their top score, which is Boucher. After two games, he's averaging 25 points per game for Southside. So Austin Boucher, just a sophomore, but a super sophomore for Southside. He's been not playing in today's game. Bringing the ball up for Bishop Dwangers, number 22, Jack Pettenberg as Royal has all four points for the Saints so far in this game. Ball goes up top. Royal's gonna drive from the top of the key. And we got Traveling gonna be called on number 10. So each team with a quick turnover here early on. 5.49 left to play in the first quarter with the Archers up 5-2 to two after that Didier three-pointer. Another three-point attempt. That one's a little bit long there by Joyner. Deion Palmer with the board. He was tied up along with O'Daniel. O'Daniel, the big boy for Bishop Dwinger. Stands six foot eight. Joyner for Southside. Excuse me, Palmer for Southside goes six foot four. We got 30 second timeout called by Southside head coach Mike Novell. Principal of Southside is Carlton Mabel, and the athletic director is Tim Burton. Over at Bishop Dwanger, their principal is Jason Shifley. Athletic director is John Bennett. Coach Matt Kostoff for the Saints. By four, Southside on top here in the early goings of the first quarter. Right. 
with the inbounds pass for the Archers. It's number two, Markalen Hairston gets it up top to Didier. Deion Palmer down the baseline. Zone defense from the onset for the Saints. Tight, tight pressure out here on the perimeter by Bishop Dwanger. Deion Palmer's gonna go back up top. Corey Joyner. Didier just inside the arc. Shot's a little bit strong. Rebounded by number 20, Conlon Martin. Martin. Taken all the way to the cup. That was number 22, Jack Pettenberg. Shot was off the mark. We got a foul gonna be called on number two for Southside, Mark Kalen Hairston. That'll be his first and the team's second. Checking into the game for Southside will be number 22. Sean Hall, six foot three inch senior. Checking in at the scoring table. Number 14 with the inbounds pass is Donovan Campbell. Royal gets it down in the corner. Three point attempt, no good by number 14. Donovan Campbell, Joyner over the timeline, finds Diddy. Down low, working his way to the block. That's exactly where the ball went, but it's a turnover by Southside, their second. That was number 22, who just got inserted into the game, Sean Hall. Pettenberg bringing it up for the Saints. Picked up by Didier right at the timeline. Southside still in their man-to-man -man defense. we got a five-second call on the Saints. Dwanger with their second turnover of the game. So traveling gonna be called on Deion Palmer. Three turnovers now for Southside. Deion Palmer, the six foot four inch senior. Pettenberg gonna be picked up Right at the timeline once again by Didier. Both teams playing good defense early on in this game. Three point attempt by Campbell's up and in. Donovan Campbell, his first three pointer of the game, Saints up seven to five over South. Joiner. Didier being guarded by number 20 for the Saints, Conlon Martin. Feed goes down low, Hall. Goes up strong, he's fouled, and will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul's gonna be called on number 54, O'Daniel. So first free throw attempt, no good there for Hall. Checking out for Southside is number two. Hairston checking in is Clone Davis, number three. And Amon Clark checking in for Bishop Dwayne. As both free throws are missed there by Hall. Nice drive, a nice block by Palmer right at the cup. Hall gets it up, Didier to Joyner, back to Didier, and he's gonna be fouled by Clark from behind. So Amon Clark inserted into the game, picks up his first foul right away. Second one for Bishop Dwanger. Amon Clark, arguably the most valuable player in the Summit Athletic Conference during the football season, as he helped lead the Saints to their first state championship since 1991, I believe at the fourth state championship overall for the Bishop Runner Saints. O'Daniel's gonna check out along with number 20, Martin. Number 42 is in. Evan Doling. So we are tied up at seven.
Number 34 for Bishop Dwanger, Zach McKenna. McKenna all alone underneath was Evan Dolan who gets his first two points of the game. Joiner up top. Joiner being guarded by Amon Clark. Clone. And he drains the Clone Davis, the five foot seven inch sophomore. Gets his first three points of the game. Southside now up 10 to nine. We got 2.36 left to play here in the first corner. Amon Clark out of the corner. Goes up top. And a three pointer is good by Zach McKenna. The six foot one inch junior. Now Diddy on the other end goes up strong. Palmer with the rebound. He's going to be fouled. Foul called on number 10. Sam Royal, his first, and the team's third. Palmer misses him. Saints up 12 to 10. Wide open three point look by Donovan Campbell and he drains it. Second three pointer of the game for Donovan Campbell. He's got six points. Saints up 15 to 10. He goes to Palmer, back out to Joyner, driving from the top of the key, had it stripped away. Didier picks up the loose ball and that pass Quick hands there in the lane by the Saints, number 14, Donovan Campbell. So number 30, Deion Palmer is going to check out. Into the game is number 10, KJ King. Hall down the block. Saints still in this 2-3 zone. Amon Clark up top, Joyner kicks back out. Didier looks at the long three-pointer. Good recovery defense by Clark. Joyner being guarded by Royal. Back out to Trajan Didier. Splitting defenders and gets it with the right hand to fall. Didier now with seven points. That's going to lead all scores as Amon Clark drives straight to the cup. Gets it off the glass for his first two points of the game. Saints up 17 to 12. Three point attempt by Didier. Back rims no good, rebounded by King, taken away by Clark. Clark up to Royal. Royal gets it over to McKenna. McKenna's already got a three-pointer. Donovan Campbell, no good, as King cannot come up with the board. The putback is good by Evan Doling. Doling now with four points in this game. Joiner down low, extra pass goes to Hall as he had that one blacked by McKenna. 35 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. Saints up 19 to 12. Bishop Dwanger has enjoyed a lot of postseason success here in the boys basketball program the last few years. Led by Mike Fiacable two years ago. Fiacable now is playing college football at IU. Last year, Marcus Stepp, who's a football player at St. Francis, was on the basketball team as a senior. Nice up and under in the lane. And he is fouled, so Campbell will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul number 22, Sean Hall. Fouls called on Sean Hall. That'll be his first, team's third. Both teams with three team fouls. Excuse me, that's Camden. Campbell Donovan. Second free throw attempt. It's good. Join her right before the buzzer sounds. Saints are going to take a 21 to 12 lead into the second quarter. It's 
again, folks. My name is Jeff Mahoney, bringing you today's play-by-play. -play. On the camera is Carrington Thompson. His broadcast is brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine. We are SummitCitySports.com. You can follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And subscribe to us on YouTube at Summit City Sports. So Campbell Donovan with a big first quarter there for the Saints. Hit two three-pointers and his two free throws. Eight points for Bishop Dwanger. Has a beautiful feed. Reverse laying up and under for number 14, Campbell Donovan. Now the game high, 10 points. He's been outstanding. Joiner back up to number two, Markalen Mar Hairston started this game for Southside. Back in to start the second quarter. Cross court goes to Didier. Little pump fake down low. KJ King off the glass. So King with his first two points of the game. Pulls Southside to within 9, 23 to 14. Donovan gets it over to number 30 for the Saints back out. Donovan wide open. Side of the drive as Joyner came out. And we got a traveling going to be called in the lane by number 42, Evan Dolan. This is Joyner with their third turnover of the game unofficially. Three for Southside. Deion Palmer looking for the kick out as that pass is intercepted by Amon Clark. Joyner got a hand on it to trip up Clark. They'll call a foul. That foul was on number one, Corey Joyner. Corey Joyner, that'll be his second, team's fourth. David O'Daniel's going to check back in for the Saints, number 54, the big man at 6'8. Amon Clark over to. That was Conlon Martin, turnover by the Saints. Joiner to Didier. Saints in a 2-3 zone. Didier looking to drive from the wing. Reverse lay-in, trying to get the English off the glass, just never caught. Sam Royal back in for the Saints. Join Jack Pettenberg. Didier out of the corner, being guarded by Royal. Conley Martin up top of the defense for the Saints. His lob pass goes into number 12, Courtney Shorty. KJ King high off the class for his fourth point of the quarter. 23 to 16, Bishop Dwanger on top. 5.48, left the play here in the second. Royal rises up from the elbow. No good from 14 feet. Ball goes back, and we got a charge gonna be called on Courtney Shorter. He came up with the rebound on the other end, got the pass back. Just ran out of real estate there as the Saint had his feet set there in the lane. Coach Kostoff's gonna call a 30 second timeout for Bishop Dwanger with his team 
up by seven, 23 to 16. Bishop Dwanger being outscored here in the second quarter, five to two. KJ King has all four points for Southside here in the second. As Bishop Dwanger, excuse me, being outscored four to two. With the inbounds pass for Bishop Dwanger, set to inbound, it'll be number 30, Zach Smithy. Smithy gets it into Martin. Pettenberg's gonna bring it up for the Saints. Being guarded tightly by Smithy. McDaniel hands it off to Pettenberg. David O'Daniel being posted up by Palmer. And we got a traveling gonna be called on Zach Smithy, the six foot three inch senior. Dwanger now with three turnovers here in the second quarter. Zach Smithy checks out. Campbell Donovan checks back in, number 14. Harrison over the timeline. KJ King, he's gonna go cross court. He goes down low to Palmer. Palmer over to Harrison. Pettenberg with the defense on Harrison. Royal with the defense on King. Cross court did here with the dribble drive. Deion Palmer, strong take, just couldn't get it to fall. Coming down with it was Royal. Now the outlet pass. Going the opposite way with it, that was Campbell Donovan. Martin back out to David O'Daniel. Turn around, shot just off the mark, rebounded by Diddy. Trajan Diddy here with the right hand off the side of the glass. Now in transition, Conlon Martin. Beautiful feed as Donovan, or Campbell Donovan's gonna finish at the cup. That's his fourth point here in the second quarter. Another turnover by Southside. Their fourth of the game. Donovan over to Royal. Three point attempt is good. Sam Royal now with seven points in this game. Bishop Dwanger extends their lead to 12, 28 to 16. Timeout going to be called by Southside coach Mike Novell. Heading into today's game, Dwanger lost 60 to 45 against Concordia this past Friday. And Southside came back from behind to beat Northrop 81 to 78. Southside a day later on Saturday beat Indianapolis Northwest 76 to 68. Southside currently sitting three and one overall, one and one in the SAC. Bishop Dwenger at one and three overall, zero and two in the SAC. After the tournament, Southside next will play January the 5th at Blackhawk. Dwenger's gonna host Carroll January the 8th. Once again, Bishop Dwanger up 28 to 16. Here in the second quarter over Southside. After this game, it will be number seven Southside taking on number 10 Northside in game number three of the SAC Holiday Tournament brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine. SummerCitySports.com bringing you today's broadcast. Joiner is walled off there by Royal in the corner. Dwanger doing a great job with this zone defense. Early on in this game, they've been zoned all the way throughout. Southside playing a man-to-man -man defense. Joiner now driving from the corner. 
as Royal hit the deck. That pass was knocked out of bounds. Intended for Dennis Johnson. Possession's gonna stay with Southside. Possession arrow in favor of the Archers as well. Harrison now with the inbounds pass. Gets it into Palmer. Palmer looking to spin. And taken away by Martin. And a beautiful skip pass in transition as Campbell Donovan is gonna finish. Or excuse me, that was number 22. Jack Pettenberg getting his first two points of the game. Join across court. Feed goes down to Deion Palmer. He's been working that baseline. Does get that one to go. Palmer with his first two points of the second quarter. He has four points now in this game. Southside down by 12, 30 to 18. With 241 left to play in the second. Royal back up to Pettenberg. Donovan, Pettenberg, Royal. Long three-point attempt. It's good. Sam Royal with his second three-pointer of, of the frame. 33 to 18 is your score. Joyner with the three ball to match on the other end. Corey Joyner with his first three points of the game. 33, 21, 206 to play. Pettenberg back to Martin. Royal has Donovan. Nice job finding Royal in the corner. He's on fire, folks. Three three-pointers here in the second quarter. Didier off the bench here, getting ready to check back in for Southside. Harrison over to Joyner. Joyner hit a three-pointer last time down. Nice, beautiful pass there to number five, Dennis Johnson. Johnson with his first two points. Martin over to Pettenberg. Back to Martin. Out of the corner. Campbell, no good. Did a great job of following his own shot and getting the board taken away by Southside. Joyner, floater, no good. Palmer was looking for the rebound, had it knocked away by, I believe that was number 44, Mark Corson. Didier back in, he's checking in for Harrison for Southside. Mark Corson, who's a senior, stands at six foot five. He's gonna check out Evan Dolan back in. Davis and Joyner up top as the inbounds goes to Joyner. Being guarded by Donovan. Foul's gonna be called on number 14. So Campbell Donovan called with his first foul. That's the team's first, or fourth, excuse me. And a beautiful look there to KJ King. King's got his sixth point of the frame. Martin looking for Campbell Donovan. And last touch by Donovan. Kostoff, Coach Kostoff off the bench not liking that call. As King gets it into Joyner. Number one raised in the air. Wide open three point look is good by Cologne Davis. Davis with his second three pointer of the game. That pulls the Archers to within eight. Pettenberg out to Donovan, back to Pettenberg. Martin playing right there. He's going to spread out, coming up and taking his spot is Evan. Number 42, Dolan. Wenger just content to hold it there to waste some time. Good ball movement, driving from the corner, going up strong, Campbell Donovan. Campbell Donovan now with 14 points. That's a game high. Trajan Didier had a great look at it there. So that's going to do it. The Saints heading into the break will be up 38-28 to 28 over Southside. This is game number two of the SAC Holiday Tournament between the Bishop Langer Saints 
number nine seed and the number eight seed, Southside Archers. Saints once again up by 10. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with you shortly. This is Jeff Mahoney with SummitCitySports.com. Today's broadcast brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And welcome back, everyone, to the SAC Summit Athletic Conference Holiday Tournament. Once again, my name is Jeff Mahoney, bringing you today's play-by-play. -play. Saints are up 38 to 28. Here at the break, leading all scores is Campbell Donovan. He's got 14 points. Started off this game with two three-pointers. He is also two of two from the free throw line. Right behind him is Sam Royal. Royal, who hit three three-pointers in the second frame, has 13 points. Evan Doling has four points. Zach McKenna, the three-pointer in the first quarter, has three. Jack Pettenberg with two points. Amon Clark with two points for the Saints. Looking at the scoring for Southside, sophomore Corey Joyner has six points, well, excuse me, three points. Cologne Davis hit two three-pointers, one in the first, one in the second. He has six points. Dennis Johnson with two points. K.J. King has six, all in the second quarter, doing a great job off the bench. Trajan Didier with seven points. All his came in the first quarter. And Deion Palmer, the big man down low, has four points for Southside. Archers playing without their leading scorer, Austin Boucher who uh, has been playing all season long, just not here today, playing with Southside. Southside does not have a whole lot of size on their team, so they rely heavily on their guards. And, of course, playing without their leading scorer and Boucher, who is also one of the leading scorers in the whole area, averaging over 20 points per clip. Bishop Dwanger getting a late start to the season with the success of their football team. Got the big man down low in six foot, eight inch David O'Daniel. Playing great defense early on in this game. They've been in a, switching up between a two, three and a three, two zone. Their guards up top on the perimeter have been suffocating. When you look at the Dwayne guards there with Campbell Donovan, Conlon Martin, Doing a great job along with Jack Pettenberg, the junior at 5'11". And the Saints right now shooting lights out from beyond the arc. And we'll see if they continue to get those shots off from three-point three point land. As we get set to start, it looks like K.J. King is going to get the start here. In the second half, he did start the game for the Archers along with Mark Kalen Hairston. That's Campbell Donovan right there, top of the key in that 3-2 zone defense for Bishop Dwanger. Martin with the defense over there on Didier. Harrison back over to Didier. Dion Palmer. It's a three-point attempt by Harrison. It's up and in. Great way to start the second half here by Mark Kalen Harrison, who gets his first three points of the game. Southside here in a full court press to start the second half, trying to force some turnovers on the Saints. Neither team turned the ball over too much in the first half, unofficially about five on each side. As the feed goes over to Campbell Donovan, Jack Pettenberg, point guard up top, leaves it off, Conley Martin for three, just a little bit strong, rebounded by Didier. Harrison, who opened up the third quarter here with the three-pointer. See if he takes another. As it is in. Front rims in by Mark Kalen. Mark Kalen Harrison, as he has six points in this game now. Back-to-back -back three pointers to start the third quarter. Martin working against King. He's able to break the press. Nice kick out there by Martin. Is all alone there. In the corner was Campbell Donovan. So south side foul called on number 30, Deion Palmer. For 
Palmer. That's his first and the team's first here in the second half. With the inbounds pass, that's Pettenberg. Donovan finds Royal all alone in the corner. Four three. Just can't leave him alone. Way too good. He's got his four three pointer of the game, does Royal. He leads all scores with 16 points. Harrison up top. Once again, these guards are very, very active for Bishop Dwanger in this zone defense. It's something that Coach Kostoff has been known for throughout the years, the defense his teams play. We got a 30 second timeout gonna be called by Bishop Dwanger as the Saints hold a seven point advantage, 41 to 34. These tournament games have been fantastic. This is game number two. In the first game today, it was Northrop getting the win over Wayne, 69 to 58. Folks, that, that game was back and forth pretty much all the way throughout. Northrop pulling away with it there in the fourth quarter. We talk about the youth of this Southside squad as they are heavily sophomore based. Dion Palmer's a senior, but outside of that, all these guards and Corey Joyner, excuse me, Joyner's a senior, but Hairston, Cologne Davis, Austin Boucher, they're all sophomores. Inbounds pass goes to Palmer. Didier's a sophomore as well. Putback's no good by King, gets his own rebound again. Third time's a charm there for Southside as KJ King gets his first two points here of the third quarter. Southside only down by five now. That foul was also number 10, KJ King. King gets called with the foul. It's his first and the team's second. Martin with the inbounds pass finds Pettenberg on the run. A little stutter dribble there by Pettenberg. Goes up top. Martin. Good ball moving on the perimeter. Royal gives it to the big man. O'Daniel with the right hand. Off the heel, no good. Rebounded by Harrison. Harrison looking for Didier in the corner. That was Pettenberg that got a hand on it. Loose ball. Campbell, Donovan, and Royal both going after it. Teammates. Looks like we got a jump ball. Jump ball. Wasn't sure. It looked like for a second there that Pettenberg was going to have possession, but then Royal got on to it as well, and Harrison was there at the same time, so. Looked like a, like a good call there. So with the inbounds passes, Martin goes over to Royal. Pettenberg being guarded by Harrison. This is pass intended for Royal, was knocked away from by, by Joyner. Harrison back out, Didier. Looking for Joyner, has him top of the key. It's like the Saints switching up a little bit in the man-to-man -man defense. Joyner shot off the mark. I believe we have a foul on the rebound. Foul is going to be called on Deion Palmer as he was battling down low with the big man, David O'Daniel. That's the second foul for Palmer, the team's third. Martin's inbounds goes to Pettenberg. Harrison once again with the defense in the backcourt. Southside been man to man all game. Campbell Donovan. Back out to Martin. Through his hands but recovers easily. Three point attempt by Royal. Folks, he's just in fuego. Five three pointers now by Sam Royal. 19 points to lead all scores. 44 to 36 is your score. 430 left to play here in the third quarter. Palmer over to KJ King. A beautiful feed. The bucket's good. King with four points now in the third quarter. On the game, he has eight. Did not see a whole lot of action in the first quarter for KJ King. Donovan over the Royal. Martin, hard take, right to the cup, gets it over Palmer. A nice drive there by Conlon Martin for the Saints. That's his first two points of the game. Three-pointer is good by Jordan. 
Joyner had a three-pointer in the second, now has six points in this game. 46-41, Archer's down by five. Pettenberg hands it off to Royal. Wenger's used this lineup here the whole third quarter. Didier to Joyner. Nice Euro step, but they're gonna call travel. Now we got some subs coming in. Pettenberg is out. Amon Clark is in. The south side joiners out. Number 22. Sean Hall is back in the game. Donovan working against Davis. Clark working against Didier. Clark stands 5'9. Didier at 6 foot. Royal. That's going to be a turnover. Excuse me, that was Campbell Donovan. Just couldn't find the handle on that pass. Amon Clark actually listed at 5'8 here on the roster. One of the top running backs in the state of Indiana. Deion Palmer trying to back down David O'Daniel. That's not an easy task. O'Daniel stands 6'8, but he's a stout young man as well. Johnson. Hall back up to Davis. Dennis Johnson, who has two points, got his two points back in the second quarter with his team down by five. Trajan Didier finds Deion Palmer. It's going to be knocked out, I believe. That was number 10, Sam Royal, who knocked it out. Once again, the defense by Bishop Dwanger really taking off here at the SAC Holiday Tournament. Davis, Johnson, could not penetrate. Trajan Didier, three-pointer, no good. Palmer comes up with the board, goes up strong, no good. A Daniel battling for the board. Loose ball picked up by Martin. Outlet up to Amon Clark. Send it back to Royal. See if Dwenger sets things up. They do not. Mass chaos going on on this end. Martin driving from the corner, uncontested, takes it straight to the cup. As Martin gets his fourth point of the game, Tomlin Martin, both baskets coming here in the third quarter. Strong take by Coleone Davis. He now has eight points in this game. Martin brings it over the timeline. Royal, who's been absolutely outstanding with three three-pointers in this game. That attempt no good, rebounded by Johnson. Didier gets right past Campbell Donovan and sinks it. So Trajan Didier with his first two points here of the second half. Didier now has nine on the game. Southside clawing away at this lead here. Archer's down 48 to 45, only down by three. Time out there called by Bishop Dwanger. As they've gone pretty much with the same lineup here in the second half. Corey Joyner with two three pointers has six points in this game. Mark Kalen Harrison has two three pointers. In the third quarter alone, he's got six points. The Saints did outscore Southside 21 to 12 in the first quarter. Won the second quarter as well, 17 to 16, and took a 10 point lead into halftime, up 38 to 28. So once again, Southside outscored him by seven points here in the third quarter. Bishop Dwenger scored 10 points so far in the frame. Saint basketball. Folks, once again, up next is South Side against North Side, a number seven seed and a 10 seed in game number three of the SAC Holiday Tournament. Folks, all of these games are broadcast and will be replayed. Summit City Sports YouTube channel. You can get there through summitcitysports.com. 
Make sure to follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports and like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. But definitely be sure to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Nice defense there by KJ King. Nearly came up with the steal. Foul is going to be called, I believe, on Coleon Davis. Davis called with the block. That's his first, team's fourth. Dwanger has yet to foul here in the second half. Clark finds Royal in the corner. Sam Royal once again with five three-pointers so far in this game. Three in the second quarter and two in the third. Another turnover. Another turnover by the Saints. Passing the rock. Joyner bringing it up for the Archers. 44 seconds remains here in the third quarter. Southside down by three. Didier, Joyner, Davis, all have hit three-pointers. And we got a travel there by number 21. Just a little quick to get going. So once again, three-point advantage. 32.7 seconds remains. Inbounds pass goes to Royal. Royal forgot that he had K.J. King right on his back there. King was able to just reach around and knock it out the back. Yeah, possession arrow in favor of Southside. Good tie up there for the Saints. Join another good here. Join it currently with six points. Amon Clark chasing him around. Trey John Didier's three pointers. Side rims out. Nice pass doling up to Royal for the easy two. Sam Royal now with 21 points, which is a game high. Half court attempt off the top of the backboard. So the Saints will take a 50 to 45 lead into the fourth quarter. Still the Saints being outscored in the frame 17 to 12. They did win the first two quarters and held a 10 point advantage heading into halftime. On the season, Bishop Dwanger scoring 47.5 points per game, only giving up 52.5. The only other team in the SAC giving up less points, Fort Wayne Snyder at 46, Northside at 51, and Wayne, best defensive team in the SAC, limiting opponents just 50 or 49.2 points per game. Best offense in the SAC so far, is Southside averaging 75.3 points per game. Northside right behind them at 74.5. Bishop Lewis is at 72.3 and Northrop at 72.3. Southside once again is playing without their leading scorer in Austin Boucher. The super sophomore not with Southside today. Southside known to have the best sophomore class in the city as Amon Clark could not finish with the right-handed layup. Joiner on the opposite end was walled off by two Saints. Smithy back into the game for Bishop Dwanger. Beautiful feed to KJ King, just cannot finish. And the rebound was taken by number 34, Zach McKenna. Excuse me, that's Zach McKenna who's back in the game. Kind of played a fine first half, seeing his first action here in the third quarter. Campbell Donovan retreats back as Trajan Didier has the defense. Number 42 is Evan Doling down low, the six foot three inch senior. Foul's gonna be called on number 42. Evan Doling, his first, team's first. From the baseline, Trajan Didier, it's good. Didier with four points now in the third quarter. Southside's down by three, 50 to 47. 
Doling being guarded by Deion Palmer. Palmer's played the whole third quarter so far. Nice take by Conlon Martin as Martin gets his sixth point of the game. All in the third quarter. That's an air ball attempt by Joyner. It's picked up by Didier, but he turns it over as he steps on the baseline. Saints up 52 to 47, five point advantage. 646 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Looks like O'Daniels set to check back in for the Saints. Standing at 6'8. Looks like he goes about 230, 240. Feed down low to Doling. Palmer on his back. Palmer going to be called with the foul there, slap to the arm. Doling doing a good job of backing him down, faced him up, and drew the foul. That's going to be the third on Deion Palmer. Five fouls now for Southside, one for the Saints. Evan Doling at the free throw line. He has yet to score in this game. Six point advantage now as Sam Royal checks back in. We'll see if anybody can match his three point output here in day number one. We did see it in game, game number one of the tournament with Shamari Tyson and DeBay from Northrop. Each lit it up from beyond the arc. I believe both had about six three pointers apiece. Joyner, last three ball attempt was an air ball. KJ King, no good. That's rebounded by Conlon Martin. As he turns the ball right over. Martin only goes six foot, but he plays hard. Pettenberg's going to check in for Martin. Hall checks in for KJ King. We have 6.01 left to play in this game with the Saints holding a eight point advantage, 55 to 47. Ball movement around the perimeters. Joyner tried to penetrate. Deion Palmer gets his own rebound with the putback. Palmer, that's his first two points here of the second half. He has six points total. Once again, Deion Palmer is listed at six foot four. Doesn't look like he's a whole lot smaller than O'Daniel, who's listed at 6'8". Joyner, coast to coast with it. Corey Joyner with his first two points of the fourth quarter. That's going to pull Southside to within four. 55-51 is your score. 5.05 left to play in regulation. Royal gets it over to Clark. Harrison with the defense on Clark. Southside been man-to-man -man all the way throughout. And Hall's going to be called with the foul. Hall, that's his second. Team six. With the inbounds pass, that is Royal. Finds Pettenberg. He's going to retreat back. Did here all the way out at the timeline with the defense. Campbell Donovan, just in fuego there in the first half. He's cooled down a little bit here in the second. Did here going to be called with a reach in on Pettenberg. So for Trajan Didier, that's his first. Team seventh. Pettenberg, front end of the 1 1. Coming up. First one's good. Pettenberg, that's his first point since the second quarter. Second one's good as well. Not a whole lot of free throws being shot in this game. 
Harrison top of the key with a jump stop, had it blocked. Royal going the other way with it. Just got tripped up a little bit. Saints wisely retreat. They're gonna regroup. Joiners following Pettenberg all the way out there on the timeline. Good defense by Southside. O'Daniel, one on one with Palmer, he's double teamed. Feed goes over there to Campbell Donovan, who's fouled. And see if Palmer picks up his fourth. Nope, foul's gonna be called on number five, Dennis Johnson. Johnson his first, team's eighth. Campbell Donovan now at the free throw line. He hit both of his free throws back in the first quarter. Still looking for his first point here in the second half. He's got 14 on the game. And he hits it. Make that 15 points now. Saints up 57 to 51, make it 58. Didier for three. Trajan Didier, beautiful looking shot. Didier now at 14 to lead Southside. 349 remains, Saints up 58 to 54. And forcing the turnover there is Joyner. Corey Joyner's been playing tough defense here in the second half for Southside. Refs are gonna confer though just to make sure it was last touched by Dwanger. Coach Kostoff wanted an explanation there and he got it. So with the inbounds pass for Southside will be number 10, KJ King. Once again, Dwanger's the nine seed, Southside the eight seed. Very competitive games here to start the SAC tournament. Didier, who just hit a three-pointer. Another one is launched. Just misses as it side-rimmed out. We do got a foul down, down low going to be called on Conlon Martin. So that'll be his first foul. Team second. Deion Palmer's going to check back in, this time for Dennis Johnson. Palmer does have three fouls. 326 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Davis for three, drains it out of the corner. Coleon Davis, his third three-pointer of the game. He's got 11 points, and Southside's only down by one. Cannibal Donovan over to Royal. Conlon Martin doing a good job feeling the defender on his back. Feed goes to Royal, cannot finish. David O'Daniel gets the putback. And he's going to head to the free throw line looking for the and one. David O'Daniel going up strong. Throw Daniel, that's his first bucket of the game. And he completes the three point play. So that's going to extend the lead for the Saints to 61 to 57, 302 to play. You saw Jack Pettenberg as Southside was rolling it up. You saw him race to the uh, half court there, trying to come up with a steal. That's a good call there by Pettenberg. Didier left all alone for three, and he drains it. Trey John Didier with his second three pointer of the frame. Once again, Southside pulls to within one. Pressure in the backcourt, Pettenberg breaks it. Martin goes back to Pettenberg. O'Daniel down low, KJ King's got the defense. Big size mismatch down low, if they can get the block, get the ball down to O'Daniel on the block. Jump stop in the lane, goes up hard with the right hand, no good. Royal with the rebound. Feed goes back to Royal, up to Campbell Donovan. Out of the corner. Donovan down to O'Daniel, and a great pump fake there as he got King up in the air, drew the foul, finishes. He's gonna look for another three-point play as King's called with the foul. His second, that's the team's ninth.
So Daniel now has five points in this game. Just completed a three-point play, looking for a second. And it rims in. Outstanding, that'll extend the Saints' lead to 64 to 60. Trajan Didier has the high hand. Coleon Davis as well as the kick out goes to Davis. Deion Palmer looking to drive and we got a blocking foul gonna be called on number 54. David O'Daniel, that'll be his second, the team's third. Davis just a sophomore. Didier just a sophomore. And we got a steal. Campbell Donovan did have it knocked away from behind by Deion Palmer. So good hustle there by number 30 for Southside. One forty-three left in the game, 64 to 60. Pettenberg with the inbounds pass. Donovan, Martin. Davis with some tight defense. Now Joyner, Pettenberg drives right past him. And we got a kick gonna be caught on Palmer. Possession to stay with Bishop Dwanger. It's Royal with the inbounds. Looking to go up top, miscommunication there, but great job by Jack Pettenberg. Saving that ball. This pass, and a nice save attempt by Joyner, but it went right to Royal. We got traveling gonna be called on again. One twenty left to play. Saints up by four, 64 to 60. Joyner walled off by Pettenberg. Looks like a travel there. Not gonna be called. Colin Martin comes up with the steal and in transition does not finish. Pettenberg does get the board though. Three Saints hustling there to get the rebound. So a foul gonna be called on the Archers, number 21, Trajan Didier. Just his second. Double bonus now for the Saints. Because that's a 10th team foul for Southside. Only three for Bishop Dwanger. First one by Donovan's no good. That's his first free throw miss of the game. He's currently four of five from the charity strike. Second attempt. Rims out, rebounded by King. So back-to-back -back free throw misses by Campbell Donovan, something you don't see very often. King driving from the elbow and hits it. KJ King with a big bucket to pull south side to within two. 48 seconds remains in this game. Donovan gets it over to Royal. Pettenberg's gonna break the press. Didier's right there. Joyner comes up with a loose ball over to Didier. Reverse lay and it's good. We're tied at 64 with 35.8 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Trey John Didier with 19 points now to lead Southside. Leading all scorers is Sam Royal, who's been quiet as of late for Bishop Dwanger. He did have two three-pointers in the third quarter and hit three three-pointers in the second. He currently has 21 points. Campbell Donovan with 16, 14 of those points were in the fourth quarter. So once again, folks, Tied at 64, 30 seconds remains here in the game. That was a full timeout that was called. Possession arrow is in favor of Southside. Southside getting it going with the hot shooting by Trajan Didier from beyond the arc. Coleon Davis as well. He had two three-pointers. Excuse me, Harrison had two three-pointers in the third. You need that perimeter shooting to be on because these Saints are so tough defensively with that zone matchup. Very hard to penetrate against these Bishop Dwinger Saints and their coach, Coach Matt Kostoff. 
So that'll be Martin with the inbounds pass. Over to Amon Clark. 33 seconds and counting. And we're tied at 64. Royal comes back. See if the Saints are going to try to whittle this clock all the way down for a last shot. The feed intended for Daniel is stolen. Joiner on the opposite end gives Southside the lead. Here at 64 to 66, Southside on top. Joiner outstanding. Corey Joiner with the defense. He's been great here in the second half, leading the Southside Archers along with Trajan Didier, who's been filling up the cup. Did here with 19 points to lead the Archers. And Southside takes the lead. Here, 20 seconds remaining in regulation. 66 to 64. Checking in for Bishop Dwanger will be Zach Smithy, a six foot three inch senior. Dennis Johnson gonna check in for Southside. Johnson listed at 5'10", the junior. Another great game here. As I said, that first game was back and forth between Wayne and Northrop with Wayne pulling away in the fourth quarter to win it 69 to 58. Here at Southside, the Saints held the lead the whole game. Southside takes it over here with under a minute to play in the fourth quarter playing without their leading scorer in Austin Boucher. But the Archers have rallied around the strong play of Trajan Didier, who entering today was the team's second leading scorer. He's been awesome in this one with three three-pointers. And then the big two, Corey Joyner, with the bucket there to give Southside the lead, 66 to 64. It was Didier's bucket that tied it up at 64. Now a seven, six, five, four. Joiner with the defense, Conley Martin turns around, throws up from 15, no good. Dion Palmer with the rebound and that'll do it as Southside wins it, 66 to 64. Southside outscoring the Saints there, 21 to 14 in the fourth quarter to win it. What an outstanding game by Southside as they will advance in the tournament. Southside will now take on Carroll Tuesday, 4 p.m. You will definitely want to come down to Wayne High School to check out that action as Carroll is the number one seed in the SAC Holiday Tournament, and they will be taking on Southside there in round number two as the Archers advance with the big 66 to 64 win over Bishop Dwanger. Southside taking over that lead with seven seconds left to go in the game. Dwanger held the lead the whole game. They held a 21 to 12 lead after the first, so outstanding job by Coach Mike Novell and the Southside Archers advancing in the tournament. Folks, we'll take a break and we'll be back with you for game number three, Southside and Northside. 